Good morning and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. This is Carrie Green and we are heading into a new year. Can you believe it? This one is almost done. It's gone so quickly. Well, we've been looking at some, I don't know what you call it, some inspirational statements that Jesus made that are geared in my mind for this use to encourage us for the year that's ahead. Some ways to get our minds aligned with God's truth as we head into a new year. These are found in Matthew chapter 5, and we typically call these the Beatitudes. We're looking at this particular one today. It's verse number 5. It says, Blessed, or I'm, excuse me, verse number 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, that sounds a little strange to our American ears. We don't like to mourn. We don't like reasons for sorrow. You know, but I think the message of this verse is that though you feel incredibly down during a time of mourning, though you feel like life could not get any worse, perhaps, there is a reality behind the scenes that is important for us to understand, especially as children of God. And that is that God is mindful of our situation. He is mindful of our pain and our sorrow and our mourning. And it says, we shall be comforted. You see, there is this law, so to speak, that God has put in place for his people, that though we suffer, we shall be comforted. God himself will see to that. And as we look ahead to a new year, it's hard to know what the new year may face. I mean, for example, I could look forward into the new year and kind of project some things that I think may be happening. I mean, I may have a a child that gets married in the next year, and I don't have that on the horizon, but they're at that age, you know. That that kind of thing can happen quickly. I may have a parent or an in-law who passes away. I just know they're at that age where those sorts of things could come on the scene. It's more likely. But still, I can't predict what's coming. But I want to encourage you as you look toward the new year. You know, we typically try to look toward the new year with kind of a hopeful attitude, a resolute attitude. But I also want you to know that should this new year bring some kind of tragedy in your life, some reason for mourning, carry with you this truth that God himself is with you in this situation. He has not forgotten you. He has not abandoned you. And that the time will come when you shall be comforted. I mean, just look back in your past if you doubt that. There have been times in your past where you have no doubt been very, very sad, where you've mourned. You've had excruciating pain or loss that has come into your life. But out of that, in time, God arrives with his comfort. He brings that comfort to you as his child. And the same will happen in the future. So as we look at the end of a year, and perhaps it was a hard year for you, perhaps a lot of your mourning happened. In this past year, you lost a loved one or you had some physical tragedy that came upon you or someone in your family. Know that you shall be comforted. Your God has guaranteed that. Let's say a prayer together. We don't usually do that on the morning mindset, but let's do that as we wrap up this one. Father, we know that mourning is a part of life. We know it's a hard thing to endure. But thank you for telling us here in the Beatitudes, blessed are we who mourn because we shall be comforted. And as we approach the new year, we look to you to be our comforter, to be the one who brings us to a new place of joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Join me tomorrow as we dive into another one of these Beatitudes on the Morning Mindset from livebuildchange.com.